Today, 1st of October, actually a year for this channel, Faces Gaming. Thank you so much for all your massive support throughout this year. In this video, let's jump out of S Legends Shinai and talk about my thoughts of this channel in this year, which are about my most satisfied, dissatisfied and surprised videos, a short story of this channel and something controversial about my channel. Throughout the year, I've made around 100 videos, some of them are quite great, while well, for real, some of them are quite bad. Now, I'd like to share about the videos which I'm the most satisfied, most dissatisfied, and most surprised. The most satisfied video will be the showroom guide. I remember I've made a detailed diagram explaining the role of different showrooms. In fact, the diagram had been done 4 months ago before picking that video. But I've parked for the video until Legends Shinai is released, so that I could let the video become a part of beginner guide for S Legends Shinai. Nevertheless, the result for that video is quite impressive. It's one of my most popular video as for now. The most dissatisfied video will be my first video on this channel. It's talking about the Ferrari La Ferrari Avatar Special Event might got delayed due to the delay in window updates. As I remember that, the video was unscripted. I just sat near the microphone and talked what I wanted to share. The video overall is just not smooth, which I always pause for a while after saying a sentence. I don't even know what I've just talked at the moment, therefore the quality of that video is quite bad. And honestly, just a disaster. The most surprised video will be the noise speed track one. One day, while I was playing the car hunt and accidentally went to the hidden routes. Since then, I started to keep thinking about it. Is it just a hidden road, or an easter egg, or even a speed trick? To test it is a speed trick, I've measured detail with fast cars, slow cars, and see the time difference. It turns out that it is really a hidden speed trick. However, the video just mentioned a speed trick without any, any other content, making the quality quite mediocre. But the result is, is my top 2 video. I think it is the most surprising thing for me. Now, I'd like to briefly talk about why I started this channel. In fact, it is not my first channel, I have another channel which is for athletic content, however, due to some issues causing me to give up on that channel. Since then, I have created another channel, Faces Gaming, uploading athletic content. Fun fact is that, although this channel is named as Faceless Gaming, the content is not really focusing on gaming. Anyways, as a new channel one year ago, YouTube won't give too much impression to me. The journey for letting my channel got explode is never easy. I'll say to let my channel got explode needs a lot of luck. My first video becoming popular is a new update of S in China, which I hope on the trend of calling it yes called absolute in China version. Although the video is not really focusing on the car, I still gain a lot of views. Three days later, I've made a video just for the absolute review. Oh my god. My channel has got exposed since then. Until now, it is one of my most popular videos. Everything is on the right track and my channel has a clear direction. Referring events and discussing some topics sometimes. After one year, I am now close to 1000 subscribers. This could be an achievement for this year. There is no such thing for being always moved. Sometimes I have been set as a copycat. However, I would like to clarify for this. Actually, for every single video, I have a specific script, except for those unscripted videos. They are not directly extracted from someone's video, instead, they all are written by myself with half an hour to one hour. That guy claimed me copying his title and thumbnail, however, it actually makes sense for the title relevant with the topic of the video. For example, if the video is a beginner guide, the title will contain beginner, Boris faster, something like that and the thumbnail will be no cast for left hand side and full progress for right hand side. This type of 5 minutes craft thumbnail design is quite common. You might think it is similar, but to be simple, font is different, type settings are different, how come I'm copying? I have created them just based on a common approach, but based on this common approach, I actually still need 30 minutes to design a thumbnail. Actually, I don't really care how the guy claimed me, but one thing I must clear, I'm not your copy. Anyways, our year has passed, and I will try my best to create more videos if I have time, as academic pressure are coming to me. 
Once again, thank you so much for all your massive support. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you with more Asperger's Night content.